All right, we are back. Starting some quests. Should hit level nine here. There we go. A lot of extra tokens. Pops are quick, man. So I got a lot of level nine stuff here I want to equip before I jump in. I mean, you can do it while you're waiting for the countdown to run out of your spawn. Right, we're moving up in the world as far as gear. Probably capped on strength, if I had to guess. Or pretty close. A little lag there. Oh, team's dead. That's a good sign, huh? I think we lost on this one earlier. It looks like we're about to lose on this one here, too. Maybe we're the DPS they need to turn it around, kill a healer or something. Still no stealth. All right, the part's running out to us. That's a good sign. Well, actually, it's a bad sign, because if the part can live while he's out front, um, that means your team sucks. So he died. Now we go for soft targets if we can. I think we're getting AOE by a Sork or something. Get back up here. Overextended targets can die. It doesn't really matter what they are. Later on, I mean, a Chosen, Beefy Chosen or Beefy Black Orc, he, you'll have a hard time killing even when they're overextended. Here's the guy AOE in. Jesus Christ, my targeting got all fucked. I did get the dot on him, though. He should die. <clears throat> That whole time, I, I assume they didn't have a single heal. And they, sure enough, they did. And the guy picked up the fucking thing. Alright, so usually you want to use this to kill healers. And this on everyone else. The healer one, I think, debuffs outgoing heal. And the other one debuffs initiative, makes you crit more. I mean, even the Critmore one is good against a healer, but outgoing heal debuff. If they start healing themselves, it's debolstered. If they're if you're beating on them, they're healing other people. It's not debolstered; it's debuffed. I do have a Blackguard series up. I think I recorded that first. They're fun as hell. In hindsight, he doesn't hit that hard compared to everything else, but he's still fun. They need like a 30% damage bonus on that two-hander. It just, it hits as hard as my Witch Hunter's one hand. Not even. Oh, he's guarded by that Rust guy. So it's this little icon I'm looking for. Save the runs. I mean, that guard's going to get him killed. It just did. But, um, I got to be more cautious and conscious of that. Um, and cautious of that. I think I was healing that Rust guy in a previous video. I might have that series up too. I was playing a Shaman. That name's familiar. I'm thinking I'm going to do every class. It's fun to play. 1 to 16. Cut them down. Make them a couple hours. I don't know. 4, 5, 6, 7 episodes each. Some classes take longer than others to hit 16. Yeah, part. I don't really want to run in there when he's got a healer and I have no support. Let's clean up. Or drag him out to the rest of the crew here. Okay, he fell. Uh, he's smart enough not to push into our spawn, though. So if I can get a heal, I'll go up and get them healers. I'm just going to die if I try it right now. This guy's out of position. Take him out. Oh, he's dead. Got him snared. Come on, buddy. He leveled and lost bolster. <laughs> I might not, I thought I was, thought I was going to kill him easy, and then he started healing up, but once he leveled, it fucking one-shotted him. 
The thing with a 2A and a black guard is if you don't taunt somebody, you do shit damage. I mean, it's true of all tanks, but you'd think with a two-hander, you could do some decent damage without taunting. Fuck. That guy back there is healing, but he's not healing me. Hey, we got a level one uh, Rune Priest. Oops, he's lost his bolster too. Holy shit. Oh, because he probably doesn't have bolster. This is fucking hilarious. It's like find the target with all bolster and kill him. A little late though. Couldn't get any push. This guy had the objective that whole time, and uh, or not the whole time, but a lot of the time, and he uh, was still beasting out. But that's the difference. Three healers against zero healers. That's okay. All right, let's sell some of this old shit we don't need. Plus, we got a dire dude. We look plain J. We look like Indiana Jones or something. All brown. Two gold. What the fuck? No, I like play for the Seattle Seahawks or something. Let's see if there's any cheap ones here. Azure blue. That's still two gold. Um, how about some rares? What's the cheapest rare? So these, these, like, this is so dumb. So watch this. So we buy this for one ninety. We take it. We run over here. And we sell it for two gold. So we just made ten silver. Just, I don't know, idiots. Even that 199 one, those are worth a copper if I did the same thing. But nonetheless. Dark Sage. Is that any cooler than the one I got on? Mm, kind of looks the same. Yeah, it's a slight difference. It's more like a forest green. This is like a... Like something you'd do like enchanted elf green. And then this is like a... You know, in like Dayok, this would be like Hibernia. And this is like Elbion green. From the surroundings. But I don't like either of those. Lich purple. Oh, that's what I need. Okay, there's only one of those. Dark peach. Wrong button. Dark Peach is like brown. Which I suppose. Makes sense. How about Regal Blue? Regal Blue and that other one look kind of similar. Let's get a couple of those. A dark purple and two dark purple. Alright, we're going to make our guy look nice and fancy. I think I saw a dark red too. I might grab one of those. Let's grab one of those. I'm already green, so red gore. Uh, it's kind of brownish. Midnight blue, dark purple. I don't want red gore. It's not a good one. Dark red. Yeah, let's do that. That's got to be better, right? Damn, golden yellow is a lot. There's there's something you can make from apothecary ingredients. It's, it's steep. All right, let's grab some dyes. Oh, I never dyed my cloak. All right, maybe we'll make that the purple. It feels like we need a yellow, though. We do need, like, something yellow. All right, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do purple cloak. Oh, dark red cloak. Hell yeah. I mean, we're looking good right now. That's how my black orc looks. It's, it's normal to spend two gold on dyeing your armor. That you're only going to use for a couple levels. Think this is going to last more than ten minutes? Probably not. Alright, we got to get one of them purples. I like it on the hat. Yeah, it looks good. We need one more purple, I think. Or midnight blue? Oh, yeah, let's go midnight blue in the boots.
and a purple. Do I not? Oh yeah, right here. Go here, second area. I don't think they ever became the other color. Suppose I should start attacking things. We'll go for the shaman. He's got the uh, layer hat on. You can get some pretty uh, decent looking hats and uh, from the dwarf layer anyways. The other layers just have weapons. Who cares about those? They all look kind of the same too. The helms are unique. He died. All right, get back to dying, my guy. We don't have any heals, so this is almost an exercise in futility. I mean, maybe some of their guys level and lose bolster. I know, I got the, the blue, purple. All right, we're looking good. On the plus side, this ain't gonna last 10 minutes like I thought. It would not. I think it's called meltdown or something it stops you from doing damage to yourself it always lowers your damage too but if you have no heals you have to use that ability at least like when you get to like 50 percent hit points you can hit self hit yourself a couple times and then you got to get rid of it it does okay damage too it's like another seer or um on sork what the fuck is it called not chill wind uh doom burst something like that something burst this guy's a little beefy. We're gonna get him. Nice. Got both healers. Really our only chance of winning. Kill them and then hope we can melt everything else down before they come back. See, ideally you hit him once or twice. Check if he's healing himself. If he is, then you switch targets. And while he heals himself, you kill the other target. By the time he switches back, you switch and kill him. And I can kill that zealot on, his, on my own because he doesn't have detail yet, I don't think. Uh, we'll try this again. Basically, just hope he does more DPS and not healing, and he underestimates me. I'm gonna get fucked here, though. There's a ranged DPS on me. Yeah, I was gonna pop, but I knew this guy was nuking me, and it was gonna be pointless. None of my, uh, none of my snapshots actually snared him. They must have been hitting him in the side, not the back. It's kind of dumb. Should change that to be side as well. On the plus side, if they had four guys there, that means they didn't have four guys on the side. Or did they? If we didn't have anyone on the side, I guess. We might be able to cap sides on them if they're not paying attention. Damn. They're on the middle. I guess uh, that's where we fight. We got five here. I mean, the side should be wide open. There's someone coming from a side. Ooh, he's underestimating me. Nah, he's getting away. Fuck. Let's kill this guy instead. I always use that M1 just a little too early. Got him, though. That shaman can res, though, if he's paying attention. Nah, he's not resin. He doesn't give a fuck. Nice beam, buddy. That guy was their main healer. Got him twice. Should have just looked at the scoreboard. So if I knew that, I would have ignored that goblin every time. Just killed that guy. I mean, the goblin was doing DPS, but DPS doesn't win these. It's heals. So if he refused to heal, we probably had a chance. Or if we killed the healer... And that shaman didn't res or heal. Alright, let's get rid of, save some of these for later. One good scenario when we hit 10. Then we get our weapons. And we get better popped. I bought these off the auction house. No idea. Napalm potions, if they're any good in tier 1. I assume they're awesome. I think it's that thing hanging off my chest. So it goes on my, like, that, I think that's shoulders. The bandolier? Yeah. What the fuck is it? I 
No, it's not that thing. It's gotta be this thing. Oh yeah, it's the cross. Well, what the fuck is this? They should let me put that cross right on my fucking forehead. Let's put it right in the chest. It'll protect me. I'm never going back there, so fuck that quest. Light it out. I think this is T4 people. No, no, there's only 140 there. Let's go there. I don't have, um... Stealth yet, so that'll suck, but it's so easy to level once you hit stealth if you can find solo kills. I mean, sometimes they don't exist. There's not much you can do, but if there's a zone where there's people you can pick off, like, I mean, worst case, 10% per kill. Best case, like a quarter level. Once again, no heals. Now, if these two use their, like, um, their combustion dump ability effectively they won't kill themselves too quick now right, we got another party joining still no heal trying to figure out where the wall is jesus christ where's the fucking reset right there i think it can go a little more yeah there we go all right so this is how you get to the middle first you find where you the uh farthest you can get out of the spawn and you wait there and at one second you go Alright, I'm going right. I mean, I don't have stealth, but maybe I can hide behind some shit and then jump in the back line. What do they got? This guy has to die. Or we stand no chance. And I have no stealth to get on him, so I gotta be all sneaky. Oh, where is he? There he is. Fuck, there's two of them. Down goes one. Just try and drop a DPS quick. Right, that'll help our team live a little longer. This guy's got full health, though. He's gonna kill me. Oh no, they nice punt. M1. Big nuke. Nice. Barely took a hit. That worked better than expected. I thought he was going to waste me. All right, here's the guy that doesn't heal. Let his whole team die. Nice work, buddy. Free kill, middle. I thought we killed that black guard. He get rezzed or... Another level 8 black card. Three kills. Alright, now we can all hang around and regen. Look at this guy. He's got no health. Regen, buddy. <laughs> He's got to hide behind a rock till he gets some hit points back. I'm committed. I want the zealot. Damn. Oh, fucking so close. I got him because he didn't heal himself. Fucking moron. If I would have, uh, I got the snapshot, so that, start, that started my morale bar. If I would have waited till I got M1, probably could have got him. Well, I mean, I did get him, but I got him because he was bad. Not because I did something awesome. I had, uh, Squiggy took half my hit points off. One hit. With get him. All right, the Sork's almost dead. All right, let's see if we can go around the rock. Oh, you can't go around that way. Fuck. All right, I've got to kill the healers. 
And as long as they keep trickling in two or three at a time, don't matter, we don't have any heals. Just overwhelming DPS. You get low run. They haven't kept the flag yet. Fuck it, let's push. I don't need no fucking heals. Bring your own, baby. I'm gonna watch this backfire. I didn't even know to grab the flag. Easy peasy. Okay, who do we want? Sork? Perfect. DPS Shaman that doesn't heal anybody. He heals himself. Bring your own heal. Find more DPS to kill. DPS taking them out is key. So because we don't have any heals, so if we can take less damage, we're in good shape. Damn, they want me. He guarded too. It's hard to tell. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, he must have been. I don't know. Probably the Black Orc. And I'll go grab the last flag. And then we win. They were running right by that flag and uncanned. Like there was a Sork, Shaman, something else, Blackguard. And they uh, were all standing on the other side of it, not camping it. I mean, it might not have been open as they ran past, but they got to watch the timers, too. Crazy part is, if Order loses this scenario, they bitch about how unbalanced the classes and game is. And it's strictly because we have no healers. We had, like, one Zealot, or, uh, Rune Priest. We could just steamroll them. No one here, as far as I can tell. So let's just go up. Grab the flag, hide in the tent. Try and hold them off for 50 seconds. Or you can hide on the right side of the tent, in the tent. I gotta be able to interrupt the cap. Cap takes like 10 seconds. Our team died, so I assume they're coming over here. Let's see how good they are at target nearest or tab target Oh, they're very good. We're fucked. You're going to try and interrupt. There's one. He fucking almost died. He did die. What a fucking scrub. Dude, you gotta heal yourself. That's all you're good at anyways. You don't heal anyone else. He's gotta be, uh, pissed. I've made scrub mistakes like that before, but... It should only happen once or twice before you realize you gotta heal yourself immediately when you jump by melee DPS. DPS after you heal yourself, not before. Alright, we're gonna have to... Go grab flag number four, probably. There's no real quick way to get there. This is the quickest route. Let's see. Their health is still up there. It doesn't update until you get closer, though. So they could all be dead, I wouldn't know. I mean, I guess I could look at death blows in the scenario or something. But the uh, health bars alone are not the best indicator if our team's still alive. It looks like they're all alive. Here goes one going down. One dead. Arnod's almost dead. The conk guy is dead. Swordmaster's about to die. Other Swordmaster's taking hits. Oh no, the Swordmaster in the other group was dead. It just showed him low health. Alright, we camp this one. Same thing. Except nowhere to hide on this one. We could uh, do snapshots and try and interrupt from range and then take off running. We're no, we're no good to the team dead here, so. I'll give him one of those. Fuck you. Alright. We're dead if we just sit up there. Oh, I 
thought he was gonna jump down. I fucking wasted my pot. I wanted to take no damage, you know, kill him, end with full health. Figured he was gonna jump down and attack me, and maybe get heals from above. So that was a scrub mistake on my side. So we'll just put push her on the corner here. We're in good shape, I and mean, we've got a ton of fucking points. We got metal, we got kills. DPS Shaman is once again DPSing, not healing. Letting his Chosen just get worked. Take out the black card. M1 him. Again, a little too soon. I'm misjudged that for a day now. I keep hitting it at like 30%. I gotta hit it at 20. Alright, we're doing a good job staying together. I mean, you don't want to get AoE nuked. But Death Ball is the way to play. Don't play uh, YOLO solo, because you'll get melted, especially with no heals. Tank's running in, we gotta follow him. Whoop, this, they, that guy's going right for me. Fuck, tank up there's gonna die. Maybe we get the melee DPS, though. Oh, he is guarded. He's got the, the Black Orc one on him, and the Black Orc isn't close enough. Cancel that, Black Orc's right there, we're fucked. He wasn't guarded by that, uh, black guard, though. So, he took decent damage, even though he had a guard on him. You gotta be within, like, 20 feet or 30 feet or something. We got him early because they, they split up. Or they let me come behind. They seem to have regathered themselves now, so... Now we're just in survival mode trying to get kills and finish this. Because they would, if this was a new scenario, they would just straight up win now. Let's go for this zealot again. Oh, close. Dots? Nah. Nice, we capped it. Held them off. So they're all here. If we had stealth or something, maybe, well, I mean, if I had stealth passed and gone to the next flag, we might not have even capped that one. So I don't know if me being there helped cap it or not. But um, if I could, like, prevent them, then get away a little bit, stealth, right up to that next flag. Their whole crew is in middle. You back cap them. Fucking cash them. Probably one or two, maybe three people would turn around and come try and stop me. I'll take a one on two. They still haven't gone back. and It's not, the clock ain't ticking, so I'm going around. Oh, he sees me. Alright, fuck this. We're gonna we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get steam yeah, he's coming right for me. Alright, come over here, bud. Ooh, swordmaster, come here. We'll fucking kill this guy. Where are you going? Alright, this guy's dead. Oh, he's getting heals, I think. Yeah, yep. This guy does heal out of group, holy shit. He's probably fucking flipping. He's probably shitting his pants right now. Yep, see? He's shitting his pants. Oh, he just got guard. Fuck. We're not gonna kill him. He was unguarded for most of that fight. Yeah, oh, we got a little more DPS here. But, uh, killing a guarded target. We're basically killing both of them at the same time. I did bring my own heals. Oh, he's getting, he's too far away from, uh, I thought he was going to outrun his guard. I mean, it seems like he kind of wants to. All right, Black Ark's getting low. We're going to switch and kill him. Or die. So, I mean, ideally I build up five accusations on the little guy. Swap, dump all the damage into the Black Ark before he can heal him back up. And that's how you drop the Black Ark. But if I just straight up attack the Black Ark, he'll just stand there and heal him. And then we will get nowhere. You got to keep the pressure on the healer until the guard gets like 30%, 20%, then maybe you have a chance with morale to drop the guard. Or you can stay on the healer the whole time and try and drop them both at the same time, but it, it is easier if you spike the guard down eventually with morales. Alright, so we're still looking okay. We gotta kill middle. Got him outnumbered here. Go for the squiggy. This guy likes me. We need some revenge. Got it. Get this fucking orange mark. Zealot. 
Got him. Two black cards is not good. There is two. I thought there was the same guy earlier. Let's go for the lower health guy here. M1. Take him out. Did it at the right time there. Well, I got guard too. Fucking A. About time. I mean, it's a win. Successful. The fuck am I? Oh yeah, I flew to Eckerd. Like, I haven't been here in a long time. This is going to hurt if it's a long one because uh, I'm going to ding in the middle of this. No, on Destro, there's a portal to the other side. I never once used it when I played Order. It's got to exist, though. I think it puts you, like, right here. Uh, It's going to be this thing. I think that's what it looks like from the Destro side. Here we go. What we should buy, actually, is some instant heals. So we gotta find the renowned guys. Coin. Oh, they're over here. All right, a little bit more healing. That might help. There's nobody fucking here though for Destro. Uh, without stealth, I'm basically hiding behind buildings. All right, we got a uh, scenario pop here. We're going to hide behind this little tower and take it. If you don't hide, uh, you can just pop up in the middle of the road when you come back in. If you log out at a friendly BO and you come back in and it's still friendly, you will be at the BO. I think if it's hostile, you will actually go to the war camp. So we don't want to go up to the BO in case they flip it. But that would be bad. They have to run back. So, a little Northern Watch. Guessing we have no healers like usual, so it'll be a fun one. Nope. We do have a level 5 uh, AM. No detente, but he can heal. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, jumped ahead to the fight. Um, going in. We got four people here. Me. The AM and two range DPS, so I'm probably going to get gang banged here. Yeah, that didn't work. Alright, well, I was kind of hoping that Swordmaster and Witch Hunter would be right behind me, but I realized as I got closer, they were not. He back capped immediately. Okay, it's a bold move. Kind of useless. If you win the first fight at Fort, it can change everything. Even if they have a stronger team and eventually take it back. Might be all the points you need. The back cap does nothing. Mostly just delays the inevitable. So, let's see what kind of fights we got. I will uh, probably cut out anything that's not a fight in this scenario. This looks like it's going to be miserable. Uh, in a long, long shot to win it. So, we'll ride over here so we can get some fights. And we'll jump ahead when I get one. Alright, so I actually had to go back and back cap our first flag. Now I'm trying to get over to the beach again. Meet up with that other guy. Chosen sees me. Let's see. Let's trick. Oh, he threw an axe at me. Let's get back on my mount. They're all going around. So dipsy doodle them. See you later, fellas. They should have split up. They would have killed me. One go one way. One go the other. So it's just been a lot of this. No, no fights yet. Here's the first one actually. Should drop this guy. Now we can kill the Chosen. All right, there goes one. Our healer's here. I don't know why he's that fucking close. He can heal me from up above. Oh, Jesus. He's going to die, too. Get on the Squiggy. We get him low. We can M1 him. I just dumped it early. Should get him. Oh, I should have potted, actually. Is he going to die? Almost. Four. See it. Two percent. All right. I definitely should have potted. I would have killed him. That was my bad. We'll jump ahead to the next fight we find. All right. I think we're gonna get this shaman. He's just standing here, fighting somebody. 
Not really kiting too well. Oop, Marauder. It's a different Shaman than that DPS one. I think we got him right here. Hey, yeah, shoot me with the beam. You gotta heal yourself, bud. Alright, on to the Marauder. We'll pot up. Not make that mistake twice. Tap him with the morale. I did it at 50 there. Dropped him like 20. It's like a 25% hit-ish. Alright, so I would not have killed that Marauder if I didn't pot. And I would not have had pots if I used them to kill that Squig Herder. So, that all works out in the end. We're going to sprint away. Hopefully I get another fight here. And then, uh... Yeah, let's see if we get this one. Otherwise, if I don't get one, I'll jump ahead to the next one. I oh, know he's running away. Okay, so we'll cut till we get another one. There might be one right up in this house. It's not cut quite yet. There we go, Sork. Oh, that fucking shaman I just killed his back. This is not good. I had started this with half health. I, I can kill a Sork with half health. I'm not going to kill a healed Sork with half health. And I'm definitely not going to kill this shaman before that guy nukes the fuck out of me. But look at that bright wizard. Instead of attacking the guy with me, I think we would have killed him. He was fucking fighting the uh, Sork. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we're in the spawn. I will cut now to the uh, next fight. I'm going to give this chosen the old back in. Hopefully he fights me. Should be a decent one. He does have shoulders on, so he's not completely useless. He knows where to find those. Or he f randomly found them, I guess. I think we got him. He left. He was getting heals, I think, from that shaman. I think we would have killed him. What the fuck was this guy doing? He was in there the entire time. Zero damage. All he did was cap the objective and hide. That is not helpful, buddy. This is a game about fucking killing people. Not popping out of stealth, capping a fucking point, and hiding. You little bitch. Fucking guy should delete his character immediately. Jesus Christ. What a useless witch hunter. You're playing the wrong fucking game. You're not gonna fucking fight people. Go play something else. Go, go play World of Warcraft. Uh, it's right over to this uh, BO. There was someone here earlier. Uh, order. Yeah, he's still there. Ooh, a little fight. Knight versus Shaman. Looks like they're both level 40. I have no idea if we're going to do enough damage to kill this guy. He's dropping. Alright, I'll take that. I thought they would be unkillable. That D-Bolster really does fuck him over. He's jumping on his body. <laughs> Alright, we'll hide and see if we can get a few more kills out here. I, I think the experience tick there was just garbage. Because I was almost level 10 before I fought him. And I'm still almost level 10, so I must have got like no experience. Now a normal tier 1 kill out in the open like that is like 10,000 experience. Which is like 15% of a level. If it's double XP weekend, you can get a quarter to a half level per kill. I mean, you can get twenty to 30,000 experience per kill on a double XP. So even without double XP, six open RVR kills, is solo RVR kills, is uh, very close to leveling you. Um, he's telling me to stay here, so we'll wait a minute. I'll cut ahead to see if someone comes or not. I'm not going to stand here too long. Oop, here's a guy. Same guy, I think. I'm partnered with this guy now. He's got me guarded. It's been a couple minutes. It's been like five, ten minutes. Uh, yeah, I didn't give me shit. This guy was... I think he's trying to complete the live event tasks. Even though he seemed to have no confidence they'd be any good. He's a masochist. Alright, we'll see if we keep getting kills. I will just jump ahead to the next one. Alright, watch off below me. He just stealthed. I'm looking at my damage on that other guy. Oh, he just told me. Yeah, he saw him too. 
All right, so I don't know if the witch, uh, witch elf saw me. I assume he does. He has stealth, I don't. Hey, here we go. Uh, we'll just go to the guard here. And yeah, I gotta get to... Oh, no, he came to me. I'll just pot up. I think I can kill these guys. I think the debolster is actually pretty bad. Uh, as far as taking them down to my level. I think I was level 40. I don't know, like, what gear he had on, but I have no idea what that is. But with a pot. I mean, the, he came up there and guarded me eventually. But I think I killed him before the... He absorbed too much damage because he's missing nothing, so. Alright, we'll jump ahead. Well, Yeah, they're behind me. He hit me off my horse. Tried to pot, don't worry. Alright, it's both of them now. We'll pot up, pre-pot. We'll kill the shaman. I know we can kill this guy. I just don't know if I'm going to live through the other damage. Yeah, with guard, I'm fucking unstoppable. Pot up, ticking away. <laughs> yeah, so guarded witch hunter is fucking hard to kill. Oh, we'll jump ahead. Alright, he finally had his scenario pop. So, uh, I'm just gonna probably cut the episode here. Probably leave group, and then we'll come back. We'll try and hit level 10, get some stealth. Gameplay will change quite a bit once we have that. We'll be a lot uh, more effective as far as jumping out and taking guys out. Positioning and all that shit, so. This is uh, to be continued. Probably this RVR, I mean, it's been 20 minutes of just running around for like 4 or 5 kills. It's been useless um, to stay out here, so. Thanks for watching.